Today we are going to talk about Bowman's capsule hydrostatic pressure because this is also a very important determinant of the GFR. We have started discussing the determinants of GFR under the urine formation process because we were studying the process of urine formation and we were discussing the filtration process in detail because urine formation begins with filtration. Filtration is the first step in urine formation and filtration occurs at the uh, glomerular capillary membrane. Now, in our last few lectures, uh, we were talking about the determinant of glomerular filtration rate because when filtration is occurring, it is occurring at a certain rate, at a certain speed. Now, what determines the rate or the speed of filtration? We talked about those factors and they include the forces in the membrane. The forces were the glomerular hydrostatic pressure, glomerular colloid osmotic pressure, Bowman's capsule, uh, hydrostatic pressure and glomerular capillary filtration coefficient kf glomerular capillary filtration coefficient kf which we discussed in our last lecture in detail now coming to the point bowman's capsule hydrostatic pressure is also important as we previously discussed that few forces are favoring the filtration process the determinants of the gfr few of forces few forces are favoring the filtration process and they help in the filtration so that a lot of fluid get filtered into the bowman's capsule now some of the forces oppose the filtration process. As we see, glomerular hydrostatic pressure is 60 mm of mercury. It is favoring the filtration process. It is increasing the filtration. Glomerular colloid osmotic pressure is opposing. It is due to proteins in the glomerular glomerulus. It is opposing the filtration process. Similarly, Bowman's capsule hydrostatic pressure is opposing the filtration process. Now, if this pressure increases, if this pressure increases, it will decrease the filtration rate. If it increases, it will decrease the filtration rate, it will decrease the GFR. But if this pressure decreases, then this will increase the GFR. So normally, its value is 18 millimeter of mercury. It, its value is 18 millimeter of mercury. And we also talked about it when we, will, when we were calculating the net filtration pressure. We had to subtract this 18 from 60, as we had to subtract this 32 from the 60, so that to calculate the net filtration, which turned out to be 10 mm of mercury. So this pressure, Bowman's capsule, is basically opposing normally the filtration process. If it increases, it will decrease the GFR. And that's why it is an important determinant of the GFR. But if decreases, it will increase the GFR. Now, how will this pressure increase? Normally, normally, this is not a very important determinant. The, the factors which normally increase and decrease GFR, this is not one of them. This Bowman's capsule hydrostatic pressure is not one of those important primary determinant which will normally increase or decrease the GFR. But if some problem some problem occurs, for example, if there is some occlusion in the uh, nephron tubules, for example, due to uh, uric acid or calcium or any other stone, suppose for example, in the renal pelvis, if there, in the renal pelvis a stone formation uh, starts, if a stone formation starts, I will try to show you a diagram. Suppose for example, this is the kidney, which we discussed that this is the renal pelvis. Now nephron is microscopically invisible, but when Thousands of nephron are basically contributing in the urine formation process and the urine is basically collecting through these calluses into the pelvis. Now, anywhere here, stone can be formed or it can even fall here into the ureter or, and it may cause obstruction. When obstruction occurs, urine formation will be continuing but it will not be going into the ureter. So that urine will be accumulating and the pressure will be increasing towards the minor calluses and ultimately it will be increasing in the tubules and finally the pressure in the Bowman's capsules will also increase and when this pressure keep on increasing the GFR will keep on falling down and ultimately the renal functions will be affected. Now the solution is to remove the stone anyway or any obstruction any obstruction whether it is stone or a tumor or mass or due to fibrosis any condition causing the obstruction to the urine flow if it is removed the pressure in this area will turn down to normal and the GFR will be become normal and the urine function will be restored but if it is not res uh, removed the problem is there then this pressure will keep on increasing the GFR will keep on falling and the renal uh, failure can ultimately occur so that's it about the Bowman's capsule hydrostatic pressure and how it can sometime uh, affect the uh, GFR thanks a lot for watching the video